we're going to be doing a little bit of tactical exploration this time around. Nope, not in that way. Let's just get into it and see. The tactic we are taking a look at today is called the Mr. V's Side Maestro 4231. Mr. V being the creator, or at least person who uploaded it to where I got this from. Now the exploration we're gonna be looking at is basically, the reason this was created was because the tactic creator wanted to explore the integration of the role of the side AP. This is the first version of it, so uh, he definitely wants feedback. Take a look at this. We'll see how it does with our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. And we can see how kind of maybe the data shows what they're doing. But let's just jump into the Premier League and see how our teams did. Well, taking a look at the Premier League table, this really worked for Liverpool. 103 goals and 95 points is pretty fantastic. Aston Villa with 67 and 62, not so much. Well, Liverpool getting through Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup semi-finals to the road to the final. They win the final 3-1 against Newcastle. FA Cup through Ipswich Town. They get to the semi-finals but lose out handily to Tottenham 0-4. And the Europa League, they get to the, another final. Unfortunately, the Europa League final, they lose out to Atalanta 1-2. So overall, sure, we have seen better tactics that are using a little bit different uh, setup, but... You know, in the end, they got 95 points in the league. They did very well. The goals, yeah, a little bit down from usual, but still runners up in the Europa League, semifinals of the FA Cup, winners of the Carabao Cup, not too bad. Squad-wise, there is a huge sea of green, so you can't fault this tactic at all. Mohamed Salah and McAllister both with 27 goals apiece, 21 for Nunez, 20 for Jota. Very well done across those top four. 21 assists for Salah and 17 for Robertson, and then 7 8 6 for Salah. Salah shines in this one. But then we turn to Aston Villa, who didn't do so well in the league, but so far it looks like they did an okay job at domestic cups. Carabao Cup, we already saw they lose out to Liverpool. They get to the FA Cup quarters and lose out to Swansea 0 0 in penalties. But I will say they do have a fantastic Europa Conference League up to the final 2-0 win over Ren. So overall, Premier League, not great for Aston Villa. They do win the Conference League, and they actually get to a good spot in the Carabao Cup and FA Cup. You would have liked them to do a little bit better overall, but I can't say the tactic didn't work. I mean, squad-wise, they have a pretty nice green set of green themselves. Goals 18 is the tops, though, for Diaby. 15 for Rodgers, 13 for Zaniolo. Assists 16 for Dinier, and average rating Dinier with a 7-2-4. Now the data hub. Liverpool looking absolutely fantastic through the attacking side, through the defensive side as well. The tackling percentage sure is down, but they never get that anyway. But 2.71 goals per game is it, interestingly enough. But a 0.74 conceded, 0.83 XG against. Aston Villa, well, there's your problem. You're not getting goals, but everything else is pretty nice. So goals per game, only 1.63. 1.13 conceded, 1.32 XG against isn't bad. Taking a look at the Premier League stats, Liverpool in first with 2.5 points per game, Aston Villa with 1.76. Most goals in first for Liverpool, 103. Aston Villa all the way down in seventh with 62. Fewest shots against Liverpool in second with 259. Aston Villa with 363. Most possession, 60% for Liverpool. That's one of the higher ones. Aston Villa with 55. Most dribbles made Liverpool in first with 846. Aston Villa with 718. Best pass completion, they do make the list at 89% up both. And then most shots for Liverpool with only 631. Aston Villa with 538. Taking a look at Ipswich Town, however, first place with 100 points is pretty nice. They're back to that 100-point mark. 107 goals for is not too bad itself. Domestically for Ipswich Town, out against Manchester United, nil three in the Carabao Cup fourth round. And we already saw out against Liverpool in extra time, though, FA Cup fifth round. So overall, domestic cups, yeah, not too bad whatsoever, but the championship is definitely where it's at. Squad-wise, 31 goals for Hurst, well done, 21 for Connor Chaplin, both of them doing exceptional jobs, 22 assists for Leif Davis, and a 7-2-9 for Leif Davis as well. Championship stats, Ipswich with 2.17 points per game, most goals in first, of course, with 107 after the playoff push, Norwich gets 100, which is not too bad, fewer shots against in second with 364, most possession in fourth with 58%, most dribbles made in second with 995 Best pass completion with 89%, just like the other two, and most shots were in second with 669. I'm surprised they didn't get to the 700 mark. 
But let us take a look at the tactic itself. We have a sweeper keeper in defend is where we start out wing backs on the left and the right in support, central defenders in as the defender in the left and a stopper in the right, a DM in defend next to a DM in support, an inverted winger in attack on the left, an advanced playmaker in support on the right, an attacking midfielder in attack centrally, and a complete forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality, in possession, attack you with is narrow, focus play through the middle, play out of defense, passing directness much shorter, tempo is higher, mix crosses, shoot on sight, run at defense, and be more expressive. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, distribute to the back line. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, and step up more. But now, how did it do for our three teams? Not too bad. Ipswich and Liverpool topping the list, Aston Villa being the pretty much the lone falter. But overall, 100 points, 107 goals. We have seen better, but they did a fantastic job on both sets. Aston Villa, again, 62 goals is not great. 67 is lower than their usual. So what do you think? How did the role of the side advanced playmaker do? Well, I mean, Liverpool doing pretty nicely as Ipswich Town as well. Again, Aston Villa just didn't have a good run of it. But if you took control of this yourself, again, there's not a lot of transfers going on here. I'm taking control of nothing. So if you got some great players into that advanced playmaker role that really fit the bill, you could probably be up there. But, you know, until that happens, you got some time to kill and hopefully you don't get fired beforehand. But I think overall, if you took control of this, you could do a lot better than Aston Villa did here. But that's it for me, 7FM, for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.